Professor Matthew Liao, good morning to you. Good morning. You've suggested that one thing we might be able to do to reduce the, uh, the human footprint on planet Earth is genetically engineer babies to be smaller, thus making them more energy efficient. Explain how that might work. Well, so there are a couple of things that you can do uh, right now already. So there's this technique called uh, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. And what you do there is you can, um, it's, it's a technique that's used for um, uh, in, in ver, uh, sort of uh, for fertility clinics. Right, so in you, IVF treatments and IVF things? IVF treatments, and you can get rid of, uh, you can sort of uh, detect sort of genetic diseases. Mm -hmm. And so the idea is that maybe you can use a technique like that to select smaller children. Okay, so yeah. a range of potential options there. You select the genetic material that is bound to lead to smaller children. That's right, that's right. But it requires an in vitro fertilization. That's right, so that would require in vitro uh, fertilization. Another possibility is you can use hormone treatments so these are uh, we already give hormone treatments to children who are expected to be very very tall excessively tall oh, okay yeah. um, and so you can give them you give them these, hormone treatment in utero now do we no you give them when they're small oh, when they're when small they're, yeah. okay yeah, yeah. and we, so it closes the growth plates with the idea that <clears throat> excuse me with that smaller people would be um, more or have a smaller carbon footprint. Will they consume less? That, that's Ooh. right. So other things being equal, larger people consume more energy than smaller people. They also, for example, it takes um, more energy to transport uh, larger people. Uh, they, you need more cloth, uh, mm -hmm. fabric for, to clothe mm -hmm. larger people rather than smaller people. Mm. Uh, they wear out shoes, carpets, etc., etc., uh, yeah, right. more than smaller people. So think of the, um, the lifetime carbon footprints. That's quite a lot. So, um, and people will think this yeah. is extremely radical. But, you know, you think back to, a, you know, 100 years ago, from, from what we know of, of people then, they were, I mean, humanity was significantly smaller even that, only 100 years ago, wasn't that, it? That's right. That's right. So we might have to stack status quo bias where we think that today we have this optimal height and you know we shouldn't do anything to um, mess up, you know mess with our height but uh, height is much more the trade of height is much more fluid to engineer a pill or a drug that would make humans intolerant to meat that that vegetarian a vegetarian population would would be more effective. That's right. Well, so it turns out that livestock farming accounts for 18% uh, of greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, by really? some estimates, it's almost close to 51%. And a lot of the livestock is for consumption of meat, red meat. Even yeah. at even at 18%, that's kind yeah. of like the equivalent of, of car emissions. Oh, it's, isn't it's, it? more, it's the... more. It's higher. It's higher than transport. It's yeah, higher right. than cars. And so that's quite a lot. Mm. And so the idea is that if you can even reduce consumption by say 20%. That could be a, we can almost achieve zero foot, uh, mm. food miles, mm. um, and so the, um, so the suggestion here is that well we're already naturally intolerant to various things. So I'm intolerant to milk, for example, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. some people are intolerant to crayfish. And I don't drink milk, and it doesn't really bother me. Um, and so the idea is that if we can if we t take com uh, common bovine proteins and we get ourselves to somehow be allergic, to, you mm -hmm. know, react to these. Um, um, proteins in certain ways, and we can create some sort of meat patch where we wear it. Um, you know, when we go out <laughs> uh, to lovely. dinner, Gaga, Robbie, um, <laughs> then uh, this could uh, help people who uh, want to give up. Uh, you know, eating meat. Eating meat. Yeah. yeah.